Creators, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and I'm really excited because today I have my sister Abigail back with us to share some stretching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. <laughs> so what do you have in store for us today? So today we're going to be working on some hip stretches to open up those hips because I know a lot of figure skating moves have some uh, wide hip angles going on so that's right in back. fact just uh, two weeks ago I posted Ina Bowers up here and that you definitely need those really open turned out hips for so this is perfect okay do they need any equipment no special equipment if you want to use a yoga mat you're welcome to just grab a uh, mat otherwise pop down on your floor wherever is comfortable for you to um, we're gonna be laying on the ground at some point so make sure you're comfortable awesome let's do it all right, so before we get into any stretching, as always, make sure you're fully warmed up. Do some jumping jacks, something to warm your body up, get your blood flowing so that you don't uh, pull any muscles or strain your muscles too hard. All right, let's get into this. First, we're going to take a wide stance, wider than hip width apart. I'm gonna turn out my toes so that my knees are pointing outwards, and we're gonna bend our knees so our knees go directly above our toes, deep, wide second position if you know ballet uh, squat position here hands on your knees you can kind of bounce here for a minute and then I'm gonna twist pushing my right shoulder in and my left shoulder back so you get a spinal twist here and lean into your knees to press them apart as deep as you can go don't push it too hard if it feels uncomfortable we're gonna stay here for a minute pressing those knees apart with your hands and then switch sides, same thing. Press those knees apart. So this hand is pressing out, this hand is pressing out this way. So I'm twisting my spine and pressing my knees. And again, other side. I just take a couple of bounces in each position. Make sure I'm not um, straining my muscles too hard here. It should feel good should not feel painful if it feels painful you might want to rise up a little bit or press a little bit less on your knees all right now we're going to come up turn our toes back in we're going to take a, a pelvic tilt here so bending from our pelvis not our back bend from your pelvis um, as far forward as you can you can use your hands on the ground for support or on your thighs or on your ankles wherever uh, helps you to feel comfortable. This should be a stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Bounce here a couple of times and then we're going to twist to one leg at a time and pull our nose towards our knee. And other side. You can wrap your hands around your ankles or if you're a little higher up, you can grab your leg for support or the ground, but try and get your nose as close to your leg as possible so you're getting a stretch along the back of your leg here. All right, come back up. We're gonna go into our deep squat or second position. Stretch again, get those hips really nice and stretched open. And one more time to the front, pivot the toes in, tilting pelvic tilt forward, as low as you can go comfortably without straining your muscles too hard. And to the right. And to the left. Okay, come up, make sure to breathe. I know sometimes if you come up too fast you can get lightheaded, so make sure to breathe. After that little segment there, we're going to uh, wide stance again here. We're gonna lean to our left, turn out our right leg, turn out our left, and you can kind of slide this leg out so you get into this position here. You want your knee over your toes. So you don't wanna be all the way over like this. You don't wanna be out like that. <laughs> um, so you want your knee directly over your toes here. Legs turned out this foot is flexed. If you're a little higher up, that's okay. Use your the ground for support or your leg as well. You can use your legs as, for support. What you want to feel here is a stretch right in here. 
and you might feel it in here as well. So you're gonna press those knees apart, give it a little bounce, and I'm gonna switch sides. Make sure that knee goes over the toe. You also don't wanna be turning that knee in because that will actually be really bad for your knee. So make sure it's pressing out as far as it can. If you're not as <laughs> open as this, put your foot further in front. Okay, so you don't wanna have your knee going in. If you're not as flexible, move your foot in. And then other side. One more time. We always like to do it a few times, because the second time around, you usually can get a little deeper. Okay, from here, we're just gonna sit right on down. And we're gonna get into a butterfly stretch. Many of you guys might not already know this stretch. Feet together, knees apart. You're gonna kind of press on your knees straight back. We're gonna lean forward, but what I don't wanna see is arching of your back. What I wanna see is as straight of the back as you can. So you want a pelvic tilt. The pelvic tilt really helps you get into those hips. If you're arching your back, you're not really stretching those hips out. So you wanna make sure your back is straight and you're getting a pelvic tilt. If that means this is as far as you go, then that's as far as you go. <laughs> so pressing those knees down, tilt as far as you can. You can press with your elbows if you're a little bit more flexible, grabbing those ankles, and you just kind of pulse here, okay? This should be, feel, you should be feeling it in your hips, maybe a little bit in your lower back. You're gonna pulse here as low as you can get. Don't push yourself too far if it hurts. Pull back a little bit and give yourself a gentler stretch here. You can go ahead and arch your back a little bit, pulling towards the front of your mat. You should still be feeling something here. If all you're feeling is your back, you might want to grab your feet and pull that way. If you can grab the ground and pull it, go as far as you can. Try and get your nose to your toes. And come back up. Take a deep breath. All right, from here, we're going to lay on our backs. You're going to bend your knees. Take your right leg, make a little L across your left. Foot is flexed, knees pressing out, turned out. Reach around and grab that thigh of your left leg. Use your elbow to press your knee out. And you're gonna try and pull your left leg towards you while pressing your right knee out. You should feel this along the back. that knee as close to your chest as you can. If you're a little more flexible or if you want an extra challenge, you can tilt to the left. Now tilt this whole position to the left. Still pressing this right knee out. Let's come back. We're going to do it both sides, of course. Left uh, leg goes over your right, foot flexed. We're gonna grab the right leg, press our left knee out, and pull our right leg to our chest. For an extra challenge, go ahead and tilt to the right. Come back. Next, we're gonna stay um, on our backs. We're gonna grab our ankles. This is called happy baby. If this is difficult for your hips, if your hips are not flexible enough for you to grab your feet, you can grab behind your knees. So if you're like up here or out here, go ahead, just grab your knees if you can't reach your feet. If you can reach your feet, you want to pull your, your feet down to the ground so you're opening your hips up and you can rock back and forth like this. From here, 
we're gonna go ahead and try and stretch our legs out. Again, if you're holding your knees, that's okay. Stretch your legs out here, and we're gonna bounce our legs. So wherever you're at, straighten your legs and, and try and bounce. Again, if it's painful, modify it a little bit. Don't go as far um, as I am if it hurts you, okay? <laughs> we don't want it to be a painful stretch. It should feel good. All right, and let's come back to our happy baby. Rock back and forth one more time. If you're really feeling it here, you can go ahead and slap it out. Get some blood flowing. That usually helps. And come back in. All right, once we're finished with that section, we are gonna go into, I believe it's called a pigeon pose. So you're gonna wrap your right leg around to the back and you're going to uh, bend your front leg. If you are really flexible and can get it to a 90 degree angle here, go for it. I'm not that flexible. So I pull my heel in a little more. Uh, the goal is going to be to get your hips uh, centered directly over the ground so both hip bones are, are facing forward. So that's why if you're really flexible, go for that. I can't do it. So go ahead and pull your leg in if you're not quite there. You're going to want to straighten your back leg as much as you can. Again, if you're not that flexible, you can keep it a little bit bent. But remember, the goal is to get your hips pointing both to the ground. So I'm going to straighten that back leg. All right, so we're starting sitting up. You can sit here for a second, get yourself warmed up, maybe take a couple of bounces to uh, warm up those muscles. You're gonna feel it here a lot. This hip is really gonna feel it. You're also gonna feel it um, along your bottom on the backside and on the inside of your left thigh. But this right, this right hip flexor is really gonna feel it here the most. From here, we're gonna try and walk forward. Get as low as you can comfortably get. This one can be pretty painful if you are, if you're, um, if you go too far. So really listen to your body. If it hurts, just stop, breathe through it. Don't go any further. If you can go further, you can push on in a minute. You can uh, go ahead and lay down if you're, <laughs> if you're that far. If you're still up here, that's okay. Just breathe through whatever position you're in. Breathe into your muscles, because this one can, um, can definitely hurt. We're gonna sit here, and then we're gonna walk back, and here's where you're really gonna get into this hip flexor. We're gonna arch back. Again, if you're not able to go this far, just go as far as you can, comfortably. All right, and we're gonna try opening this leg up a little bit, okay? Deepen that stretch a little. Left and back, try and straighten that back leg. Sitting here for a minute, let's get that warmed up. And walk forward. And arching back. You should really feel this part in your hip flexor of the back leg. Try and open your front leg up a little bit if you can, and walk it forward again. Marching back. All right, for our last little thing, this one you can do if you like. It's called frog pose, it's kind of fun. You can just sit here while you're reading a book if you want to. You're gonna sit with your feet together, knees apart. You're just gonna walk yourself forward. If your feet come up, that's fine. I like to sometimes rock back and forth. This just helps you open up your hips. And it's a fun one to just sit in, read a book, do your nails, whatever you like, while you just sit here and rock back and forth, opening up your hips. It's a nice passive stretch. You could be wherever you, wherever you are if you're higher up. If you need a little pillow to support yourself on, a great idea. Otherwise, have fun with this one.
Well, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Abigail. That was some great stretches, a great little flow, some, some great moves. I hope you guys practice these. Now, how often should someone practice to really see improvement? I would say a couple times a week is um, the minimum. If you want to do it every single day, though, you'll get some really, really good results really fast. Okay, so if you're trying to get that Ina Bauer, stretch a couple times a week at least, every day if you can, and then, of course, also be working on your skills out on the ice. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in this section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.